Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Now, many of you will have noticed that the social media feeds of the rich and influential recently have been awash with footage of a band called Steel Beans doing a song called Molotov Cocktail Lounge. It would be remiss of me to uh, not react to it in any way at all, so here we are doing just that. Justin Hawkins Rides Again Again. Yeah. Hence the uh, dressing gown and jeans combination. Actually, I should just be wearing pants, shouldn't I? Oh, I failed you. Once more, I failed you. Okay, so Steel Beans are a band from America that formed in 2007. They've posted this song a few days ago on Instagram, um, and it will be available on streaming platforms soon. Um, Jeremy Debardi is the leader of Steel Beans, and he's performing in this video. Um, they're on tour in the USA right now, and uh, are kindly asking for some funds for gas, gasoline, benzene, or as we say, petrol. Petrol. Uh, we will put a link... Uh, oh, sorry, we'll put a link in the to their GoFundMe in the description below. So if you'd like to support them, you may do so. Okay, so it's just a short. Uh, it's a YouTube short. Um, a man playing drums. Uh, what looks like some kind of... Some sort of asymmetrical guitar. What is that? Okay, so he's perfectly in tune. That's uh, the first thing to say. Which is reassuring. So you can just look at his fingers. It's, it's really easy. This is like a tutorial on how to play Molotov Cocktail Lounge. And I really admire his attire as well. Seems to be sporting little more than a pair of shorts and some kind of lovely silken um, dressing gown. I think, if I'm not, if I'm not correctly mistaken, those, uh, those sunglasses he's wearing are Boeing sunglasses. They have this sort of thick brow bar at the top there, made out of a kind of ivory-coloured uh, acetate. Oh, it's, they're really lovely, aren't they? But what he's doing, like, he's, I think he's hitting the drums, and he's probably holding a plectrum or just using his fingers to strike the chords as he goes along, so... But I think that takes real talent because to actually make the strike of the 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 drum drumstick, which is over there, so he's got to make it hit. He's got to make that hit the drum at the same time as his finger hits the guitar, and he's getting it spot on all the way through this and singing at the same time. And what's really impressive is the those little fills that he's doing. I, I, I wonder if he's... Ah, oh, you, can't, you can't really see it, but I think he's sort of gliding the stick across three or four different drums at the same... Uh, in one swoop, you know. Yeah. yeah. Then he goes to a C. C7. And then he goes to this. D sharp. To F. F sharp. And then he goes up for more. It's awesome. Sometimes we do, uh, in, in a darkness show, we'll do like a VIP experience where a lucky audience participant will win the opportunity to perform with us on stage during the sound check. And... Um, <laughs> Once there was a drummer that won it, and um, he insisted on not wearing any shoes. Um, 
it was a little bit upsetting for Rufus at the time. He's, he's a bit particular about um, that sort of thing. And um, lo and behold, a drummer has not won since. I feel like uh, Rufus might have um, interfered somewhat with the results since that fateful day. Far be it for me to accuse uh, anybody of fixing the draw. <laughs> no. um, but anyway, if it's your kit, you can do what you like, can't you? It's uh, a man's drum set is his castle. And if he wants to roam the grounds of his palatial uh, abode, i.e. the drum set, not wearing any shoes, then so be it. And that's what this gentleman's decided to, uh, to do. really cool is um so it loses a bit of its sort of um momentum in that that bit when he's doing that because he's just hammering it with the notoriously weaker pinky finger it has less muscles available to it on a normal hand mine of course is uh, obviously ripped check that out yeah Beautiful stuff, it really is. Wondering when I first watched this whether he was sort of just sort of ghost hitting every time he did a, a downstroke with his with his um with a stick in hand but he's actually not you see him he's pulling the punches so like he's only hitting the snare on the and the rest of the time he's sort of pulling it it's a lot to think about I always think that um, you know when you it's difficult enough to try and sing and play guitar at the same times you know especially when the, the vocal line is syncopated in relation to what the guitar's doing it gets really complicated sometimes and there's a lot to try and um, keep on top of. And I always find that adding a third element to distract yourself from the two tasks at hand, like it might just be, you know, I don't know, what's the third thing? Doing a stupid dance of some sort, or just adding, adding an extra element. It actually makes the two, the two things that you're trying to do properly easier somehow. But this gentleman... Singing, playing drums and guitar. <laughs> it's just like, wow. It's really impressive. And his voice is good too. Yeah, this is great. I've seen uh, a video recently of uh, Nate Wood. The um, you might you might know him as the Emerald uh, Sorcerer from the Taylor Hawkins tribute show. Um, he does videos on his uh, Instagram where he's playing drums, doing a bass solo, and some synthesizer stuff, and it's really intricate parts. I don't I don't know how he does that either. <laughs> These people are a mystery to me. One man bands, eh? And just imagine, Steel Beans themselves presumably have other members too. I wonder what noise they're capable of creating when all of them get together. Perhaps I'll look on the internet and find out later. So anyway, as I said before, there's a link here uh, to assist these, uh, these people in their tour. It's difficult enough out on the road as it is, but uh, with uh, gasoline prices the way they are, they need all the help they can get, and I fully support them. I, I'm going to donate some money myself. So, anyway, nice one, Steel Beans. Um, good luck out there, and uh, ride hard. Ride safe. That's it, ride safe. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. Forget to 
like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos, and uh, support your local musicians. And they'll support you. Well, they probably won't, but they'll perform for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah.